Mexico calls in the troops to seize breakfast flakes, pops, and loops. Yeah, Mexico forbids American cereals for kids. 380,000 boxes of Kellogg's cereal were seized in Mexico for violating laws that ban cartoon mascots from marketing to children, completely disregarding the medical expertise of tigers, frogs, and bears. <laughs> in response, General Mills has switched to using Mexican drug cartels. They're great. <laughs> hey. I knew. Yeah, that sucked. So vast batches of cornflakes and Special K were taken during a warehouse raid north of Mexico City. Yeah, they raided a place for cornflakes and Special K, and not even the fun Special K cat. Mm, I get it. Yeah, still part of her complete breakfast. Good for her. <laughs> but that has to be the most boring raid ever. Sorry, I'm not getting my head blown off over a box of Fiber One. Your constipation just isn't worth it to me. But I guess it's easier than fighting drugs, right? The Mexican Consumer Protection Agency also took issue with the lack of clear nutritional labeling, like calories and sugar content. And also, some of the prizes were complete <laughs> Of course, no one wants to eat cereal with an adult on the box, right? All right. <laughs> Fela Flakes for breakfast. <laughs> and it comes with a free wardrobe. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> you got to get rid of the clothes somewhere. Dagan, could you argue that breakfast cereals do more damage than drugs? I would rather be high than fat. Um, what? I ate sugary cereal my entire childhood, and I'm clearly fine. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a head full of metal fillings. Yeah. And I have a huge addiction to sugar. Yes. Plus, I have had lifelong nightmares about a vicious little leprechaun mm. humping marshmallows. Yes. But look at, but look at Jimmy. Uh -huh. He's Fred Flintstone over here humping some <laughs> fruity pebbles. Love it. Yeah, yeah. All day. Yeah. Bella Is it Fruity flakes. Pebbles? They yeah. Bella Fru flakes. Keep up. Coco. I love, I, I, I love, I, Jimmy, I love the cereal aisle and not for the clientele, but the, 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 the just the, the entire array of selections. <laughs> yeah. It's mind blowing. Yeah. It's incredible. Is that like, that could be the best thing America does. Should we invade Mexico and get our cereal back? That's an excellent <laughs> question, Greg. And it's appropriate that I talk about this since I've gotten fat, let's be really honest. <laughs> You think I don't know my head looks like one of John Candy's testicles. I can't even look at myself in camera. But, uh, yeah, you know, the reason they, they turned on me, and this joke is really going to bomb, but I'm going to plow ahead. Oh, let's do it. go. Let's go. Do it. Uh, the, the reason the Mexicans feel this way is because when they arrested El Chapo, he was in the honeycomb hideout. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> that is a great Jim Norton classic <laughs> joke. Thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. Is this the best priority for what Mexico, that? Jimmy? What's up? Is <laughs> no. Remember, you're on a show. You're on a nobody, show. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody laughed harder at the cereal factory raid than the guys in the submarine sailing across our border with 2,000 pounds of fentanyl. That's true. But how like demeaning is this to Kellogg's? Because this is a government that will let you swallow a balloon full of heroin and leave the country, mm -hmm. but they won't let you swallow Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Now, I get the whole idea, though, that 73% of the children in the country are obese. Right. But I think they should embrace the upside to that, which is kidnappings are down. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, they're heavy. <laughs> you, you ain't getting these kids into the car in time <laughs> to elude the police. Not if you're eating cookie crisp. You got to look at the upside. <laughs> yeah. Cookie I, I agree with the woman who played Daisy Duke in the backup season with Coy and Vance. Yeah. I think she makes a lot of good points over here. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who looks like the guy who should be giving me directions to a massage parlor. Best case scenario. Yes. <laughs> but it is funny, Kat. <laughs> like, cookie crisp cereal is just a bowl of cookies. Did you ever, were you, did you ever eat an entire box of cereal? I have. It's like unstoppable. You, you have a favorite, whether it's Captain oh, yeah. Crunch or anything. I will, I will sit down, and if I've got enough milk, I will not stop. I'm like a horse with hay. I don't even know if Dad, you, you don't do that? I don't I feel like nobody wants to hear my opinion on obesity. <laughs> like, <laughs> let alone like childhood obesity. Oh I don't have God. kids or obesity yeah. or obese kids. So I feel like whatever I say, people will be like, that's so insensitive. I'm like, hey, your kid's overweight, give him a little nicotine gum. <laughs> <laughs> but I would never say that.
I hope that somebody takes that out of context <laughs> and posts that. Kills on, the appetite. Yes, I post right. that on some media website. But I would never ever say that. Ch yeah, chase your Captain Crunch with some Robitussin. <laughs> Thank you. We are at, we are at not a good place for hel for health tips. Oddly enough, no. this, this segment peaked at the Honeycomb Hideout. No, it did. <laughs> no. I forget that that commercial is 40 years old, but I love that as a boy. Yes. <laughs> it did. And, well, I always wanted to go to the Honeycomb Hideout. It was a, basically oh. a fort in a tree. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like so much fun. Oh, I know. Just come to the Honeycomb Hideout. Yeah. yeah. Say it. I would I would worry that maybe I wouldn't be invited. Yeah. Yeah. That was the thing. Like I wasn't no. cool enough for the Honeycomb but Hideout. Was, but it the was kids like, always were really cool. They, right? Where were they? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.